Hello, my language arts friends. Um, it is Miss Kepley here, and today we are going to talk about a cornerstone in English language arts classes, which is theme. And theme, I'm sure you've heard of this before, but we're going to review it. It's all about a search for meaning. So let's take a closer look at what theme is and how we can find it. So theme, there's many different definitions and you've probably heard a ton of them since you have been in elementary school all the way up to middle school. But I like the def this definition. Theme is the unifying idea because it can encompass many different things. For example, it's what the author is trying to teach the reader, which is you. It's ideas about life the author is trying to express to the reader. And it could be a message or lesson the reader can take from a work of literature. So, theme is typically inferred by the reader. The author doesn't usually say, hey y'all, um, this is the theme at the end of the story. No, you have to like pick up the clues as you read to figure out the lesson or the message or the unifying idea. So the author doesn't come right out and tell you, you have to figure it out. Well, you might be sitting there thinking, great, I have to figure it out. How, how do I figure it out? Well, I have three steps for you to figure out theme. Step number one, think about the challenges the main character is facing. Um, I don't know if you have seen The Hunger Games. I love The Hunger Games, so I use them a lot in my examples. So if we think about some of the challenges that Katniss is facing, um, she doesn't agree with the games. She um, is taking over for her sister. She has some enemies inside of the Hunger Games. So there's many challenges that she's facing. She has to leave her family behind, tons of challenges. And you ask yourself, what is the main character struggling with? And what does the author want me to believe? So again, in the Hunger Games, Katniss is struggling with the actual Hunger Games, like with staying alive and doing what's right in the face of what's wrong or what she believes is wrong which is the actual Hunger Games. And three, pay attention to how the main character reacts to and solve the problem. Again, staying consistent with the Hunger Games. If you haven't read the Hunger Games or seen it, I'm about to give a spoiler. So well, if you haven't done it, maybe you could pause it and go check out the Hunger Games. But here's a spoiler, just be aware. Um, so how Katniss solves her problem is she doesn't take out PETA. She devises a plan so her and Peter can both win. So she takes down the Capitol. Well, she doesn't take down the Capitol yet, but her plan goes against what the Capitol wants. So we all want to be pros because we're all fancy language arts students. So I have a little pro tip for you to help you figure out the theme. Pay attention to the plot. That's right, both the plot and the theme develop over the course of the story, and important moments in the plot are usually tied to the theme. Now there is what we call a theme hierarchy. That's a fancy word, isn't it? All it means is the ranking of theme in order of importance. So some stories, like the Hunger Games, have many themes. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, well, there's a theme of love and family, to me, those aren't themes, those are topics. But what we can do is take that topic of love, our family, our power, what we can do is take those topics and expand upon it to develop our themes. So if the theme was power, one of the um, expanded upon versions could be stand up for what you believe in, no matter your position in society. I don't know, I'm just coming up with that on top of my head. But themes can be developed from topics. So stories have numerous topics. You take the topic and you expand upon it to get the theme. Now, themes should not have specific information. So notice I didn't say anything about Katniss taking over the um, taking down the Capitol with her act of defiance. Um, that has specific information and cannot be universal. And themes are universal. They can be applied to multiple stories. 
So, along with theme hierarchy, readers have to identify the primary theme and then the secondary or the more minor themes. If you would like to review some of these terms, I do have a quizzes for us. So if you will click in the link below, you can review you can, look, you can review these words related to theme. If you are a student or a teacher who would like more practice with theme, just click on the links below. They'll take you to some activities that are related to this slideshow. And that is it. I hope you learned something today about theme and I will see you next time. Bye.